Namaste, I am uh, Sajit uh, Surendran from uh, Guruji. Today I am here to tell you all about uh, something uh, on CUT uh, 2024. This exam is very common and uh, many of you would, all, uh, would have already heard about CUT 2024. But uh, how to apply and what are the opportunities and uh, which are all the institutions are participating in it and uh, you know what is the future the students will get out of this examination after uh, uh, 12th standard you uh, know when you choose universities through icar and uh, such exams exams so let me tell you a few things uh, about the cuut uh, through a small ppt which i made for the benefit of uh, all the students We have uh, uh, here uh, CUT, ICAR and courses and exam uh, fee and subject and BSc agree and uh, the website which I have already updated here. So <clears throat> let's understand what and all we get it uh, through this exams. So I wanted to tell you there are central universities and state universities and deemed universities who participate in this examination. Because when I say central universities, there are about 42 central universities uh, participate. And state universities, universities many are there like Kerala, Karnataka, Andhra, Punjab, Haryana. Likewise, you can get it from the website, which I'll give you in the later stage of this presentation. And there are deemed universities also who participate in this uh, uh, CUT examination. And uh, I have listed here at 250 universities, which has already given their names to uh, take students through uh, uh, the CUT examination in the India 2024. And roughly about uh, 3.5 lakhs seats will be available. Okay. So I said Central University and State University and deemed universities are going to participate. And approximately 250 universities are already listed, and uh, in which around the 3.5 lakhs of seats are going to happen. So, um, next is the structure, okay? The courses which uh, is offered in ICAR, okay? CUT, we know that uh, the uh, ICAR, Indian Council for Agriculture Research, uh, all students who wanted to get uh, courses from courses or pursue in agriculture engineering or agriculture, BSc agriculture, they need to go through this examination and the courses which is main courses are offered here like sericulture, uh, horticulture, forestry and agriculture such courses are offered and uh, these courses are offered at central universities and uh, many courses are there like many other courses are also there in uh, as per the CUT examination students can get but mainly if you look at it ICAR is one examination which students uh, mostly you know will focus uh, to get it uh, through this examination so in under this ICAR we have uh, agriculture and sericulture, horticulture, forestry and many other uh, streams also available like engineering streams is also available and uh, the agriculture BSc agriculture stream is also available now let's see uh, which course I can choose, and you know I have few criteria here. Which course, and uh, what I want, what I meant by which course I can choose, and how uh, in CUUT. Okay, in CUUT uh, there are like uh, many courses or many uh, like you know uh, depends on the universities which you go to choose. Like Delhi University if you choose, or Punjab University if you choose, or any other universities which is participating in this examination. So there are several courses offered under that particular university, which means if you take Delhi University. There are 15 to 16 courses which a student can choose. Okay. But uh, uh, what happens in CUUT that you have to, when you are applying for CUUT, you need to give uh, that specific course which you are going to apply and which university you are going to apply that you have to do it in the CUT application stage itself. When you are when we are applying, we have to give which university, which are all the university I'm choosing. So when we say about which are all the university I'm choosing, we have to see that like uh, we are writing physics, chemistry, biology. Some universities are accepting physics, chemistry, biology. Some care universities are accepting physics, chemistry, max. Some universities are accepting physics, chemistry, biology with uh, uh, general uh, studies. And some two universities are accepting physics, chemistry, max with uh, uh, what you call uh, mental ability or reasoning. And some universities are accepting with physics, chemistry, biology or max with uh, English, etc. So whichever universities are asking as for the courses, that particular course available to that university. Okay, that you need to take care when you're applying at the, uh, this particular area. All right. So uh, what I wanted to tell you before uh, this, like um, CUT universities list. In the next slide, I will give you some outline of the CUT university uh, list. 
because uh, we have here what you call um, this uh, university list in the next slide I have. And BSc agree PCM or PCB. What I mean by BSc agree PCM or PCB. Uh, see, for students who are uh, going for B.Tech agriculture, must write max. And students who are going for uh, BSc agriculture should go with B, uh, physics, chemistry, and uh, biology. Or there are another uh, one more uh, criteria, agriculture, chemistry, and biology. One more stream is also available. So need not to be that uh, you should have, uh, you should be from max field if you are taking up uh, agriculture courses. Need not to be, you have to be from mathematics unless until you choose B.Tech agriculture. If you choose B.Tech agriculture, then you have to write mathematics. In the other case, there is no need of mathematics. You can choose PCB. But this PCB or PCM must be part of 12th standard. Okay, it is not that I haven't studied max in uh, 12th standard, but uh, you know I'm applying for uh, agriculture engineering or I haven't studied biology and I'm study, uh, applying for it. It is not like that. So PCB or PCM must be part of your 12th standard. Okay. Now university logos, all available universities logo, including ICAR, is available in the next slide. I will show you. Okay, next is programs. Under each university's logo, you can get the courses available. This is very important because every university which is listed under this, this uh, uh, website, you can get the courses available. Now, six, six subject, a student can write a six subject. What does mean by this? Because any student who are capable or who are capable of writing, uh, like you know, physics, chemistry, maths, biology, English, and uh, one more subject, okay, or two more subject, they can do as per their capacity. They can choose minimum six subject, which means according to those six subject which you have written in CUT, you can apply the colleges, choose the colleges which is offering courses based on that six subjects. Hope you understood now. Now here there are totally sixty one subjects available. Very important. Look at this. Uh, there are total sixty one subjects available in this exam which you can choose like uh, your uh, main subjects plus uh, the additional subjects then 33 languages available like you put the 33 out of the 61 33 languages are available one general is available and three uh, shift the examination is going to conduct in three shift and uh, six subject a student can write so hope you understood so 33 languages and uh, the rest will uh, 33 plus 34 and the balance will be Balance will be the main domain, like physics, chemistry, maths, or physics, chemistry, biology. Hope you understood now. The next uh, thing, okay, as I told you, see this uh, uh, this thing, website, like we, I, in the last uh, slide I have shown you. So the website is uh, like, you know, uh, nta dot, uh, that website, you can check it. I'll, once again, I'll show you that slide. This website, exam nta ac dot in okay see this website at exam dot nt nta dot ac dot in slash cut hyphen ug this is what the website for the universities list and the universities will be listed like this all the university assam university baba central university so on so central if you click on this particular university you will be able to get the courses under this university okay now here you have like uh, if you wanted to specifically check central university say state university private university deemed university government universities separately give, given so if you click this you will get only this if you click this you will get if you click this you will get like this so each universities are listed according to the uh, availability now let's see again that i have given you one more uh, slide for this because to understand like which are all the university few more than i told you around 240 logos you can see approximately so depends now if you click only on the suppose you click on the only on the government university only the government university logos will come private university only private universities logo will come hope you understood this then Event like let's see uh, CUTUG application uh, form date like which is already started February 27th onwards it is released March 26th is the last date 28th March 29th it is uh, application correction window is the like any other like some like NEET and JE and announcement of the city examination on April 30 onwards you know in city like if you apply uh, Coimbatore if you apply Delhi if you apply Punjab Haryana any place or in Kerala or any other part of Tamil Nadu Salem Chennai or like that. You will get a city information on April 30 and it is conducted as of now, May, May 15th to May 31 is the uh, tentative date for conduction of this examination. Result declaration to be announced because only after the completion of applications and you know they will be telling you where is and how it is to be conducted. Now I said like you know the uh, CUT application form is very important that for example, um, up to three sub subjects, a common fee structure is the which is 800. And for every uh, additional subject which you are writing, you have to pay another 350 rupees. 
Now, if it is outside India, it is 4,500 rupees for a three subject and every extra subject you have to pay 1,800 rupees. Okay, so now general category is 1,000 1, rupees and other reservations are 900 rupees and 375 and 400 each. So see that very simple and very uh, crystal clear information is given like what is the fee structure according to three subject or if you're taking any additional subject, how much you have to pay extra. All right. So before proceeding with CUT registration, you must have a few documents. The list of documents required are uh, valid email address, phone number. Of course, you would have already applied for other examinations, so you must be having all these things. Class 12 and scanned the photograph prescribed. Dimensions are there and date of birth certificate and category certificate if applicable. And of course, your uh, payment uh, details, how to be done. Like Okay, so that is another area. Now, uh, next is... Uh, the exam pattern highlights, uh, just give some uh, idea on this or uh, just give a point of contact on this. As I told you, it is exam mode, it is listed online or offline. So online or offline mode are there. Offline means depends, uh, depends on uh, number of students. Okay, if, if more number of students are applied in one city for one particular course, which has to be done only in the uh, offline mode, then offline examination you can get. Now, slot duration is given 9 to 11, 12.30 to 2 p.m., 4 to 5.30 p.m. So, means it means like, you know, morning till evening, depends on the courses which you have applied or the universities which you have applied, you need to attempt that many papers. You understand? Suppose physics, chemistry, max. So, physics, chemistry, biology or physics, chemistry, uh, any other subjects. So, it depends on that you have to write. So, number of sections, four sections. Okay. And uh, that four sections are given here. So, 40 out of 50 questions to be attempted in the one section. Section 2, 40 out of 50. Section 3, 50 out of 60. So, now in this 40 out of 50, like physics, chemistry, max, you have 50 questions given and you are supposed to attempt to 40 questions minimum. Now, 40 questions minimum means mean by what actually? So, uh, like, you know, if you attend more, more, more than 40 questions, only the first 40 questions will be considered. Okay, even if you attend 45, 46, it doesn't matter, but only 40 questions will be considered. Now, biology means if there are 60 questions or any of the languages, if there are 50 questions, out, 60 questions out of that 60, 50 questions only will be taken into account. So 800 marks now, uh, total mark CUT examination pattern is changed to 800 mark earlier. If you see that it was uh, first, it was 620, 640 and it's a different pattern it is conducted. Now it has gone to uh, what you call 800 marks total. So marking scheme is plus five for each correct answer. Look at this. There is not, it is not a five, four mark. It is plus five and one for one minus for uh, each negative or and level of exam, class 12th portions. The portions of physics, chemistry, max or physics, chemistry, biology will be from class 11 model. So 13 languages, you can write the examination like Tamil, Telugu, Kannada, Malayalam, English, Hindi. Likewise, so preferable languages, English. And uh, so it, it is up to students, but it is available in 13 languages. Okay. So maximum number of tests, as I told you, six tests. A student can attempt six tests. Okay. Now here, uh, as I told you that uh, PCM, PCB and ACB. Uh, now look at uh, CUT, uh, generally students prefer like getting into admission to various courses, BA, BSc and uh, you know, become so, so many courses like that, uh, which is offered in these 250 universities, which is participating in this examination. But if you look at it uh, on, on the whole or in general, okay, on the whole or in general, what is happening, the students uh, who apply, this examination is uh, for ICAR. So what happens like students who wanted to get into BSc uh, Agriculture and uh, you know BTEC Agriculture will look into the CUT examination because till last year or last till last last year ICAR exam was conducted separately. Now ICAR exam is clubbed. Last two years ICAR exam is clubbed with CUT examination. So students will be looking at to get into. Uh, those who are looking into agricultural uh, uh, courses, like as I told you, horticulture and sericulture and forestry, fisheries and dairy and food processing technology, BSc agriculture, BSc, uh, you know, uh, forensic, uh, sorry, BSc forestry and BTEC uh, agriculture. These courses, ICAR, you must prepare and write. And I also already told you the application is started and uh, it is get, going to get closed on March 26th. So those who are interested, please apply and take up this examination as I told you, a student can attempt six six uh, topics or six subjects. As students can talk, uh, students can attempt, and the fees are also to be uh, paid accordingly. And all those who are looking uh, ICAR uh, courses, okay, Indian Council for Council for Agricultural Research courses, 
must take up CUT examination. That is one of the, uh, uh, like, you know, uh, what you call best examination for giving or opportunity to many universities for a student. Okay. So, hope you understood uh, the CUT pattern. And we, Guruji, at Guruji, we are doing the uh, crash courses and we do have the uh, uh, model test happening. And our crash courses, admissions are going on. Anybody who's interested to play part of it can get enrolled. And the CUT courses are conducted separately. Uh, not like uh, clubbing with JE or NEED students. It is a separate courses because the pattern is only 12 standard and the question level also varies from NEED level. So we have to uh, look into this paper in a different way. Okay. So thank you so much. Any more questions are there with this regard? You can reach to me at Guruji and or you can uh, refer our website www.myguruji.com. Thank you so much.